Our next topic today is wheat seed treatments, especially winter wheat because that's what we're going to be seeding next. And when you think about wheat seed treatments right away, you might think, well, it's fungicide we're talking about. Not necessarily. Yes, we do want to discuss fungicide, but also insecticides, fertility, and even biological products. Well, there are a lot of different things going on now in the wheat seed treatment industry. One of the first ones I want to focus on though today is the biological side. When you think about bacteria and fungi, you think, wow, those are bad things. That's what I want to stop. But actually, there are very beneficial bacteria and beneficial fungi available in the soil. And if we can get more of those right around our seed, we can have better success with crop production. Now there's a product called Quick Roots that is patented with a beneficial bacteria and a beneficial fungi that actually help bring more nutrients into the plant, help that plant basically explore more volume of soil to create more crop growth and ultimately more yield. We've used Quick Roots for a number of years on our farm. Quick Roots is probably the most popular biological product in the United States right now, but there are many other products as well. I'll give you a couple of examples. Messenger ST TS is a Harpen protein. So like the new Acceleron seed treatment that Monsanto has for corn and soybeans, in many cases that's going to have a Harpen protein in it as well. So something similar to the Messenger STS. Turning to a different product, you could look at InSave. That is not only a biological product, but InSave for about a dollar an acre is going to give you some low levels of plant nutrients. So that could be a good thing as well. So you've got some options when it comes to these biological products. The biggest thing I would tell you is at least be trying some of these on your farm because as Darren and I travel around the world we find that most of the top farmers around the whole world are using biological products to some degree and in some cases they're using a lot of biological products because they're having good success doubling or tripling their investment fairly easily. Another important component of a successful wheat seed treatment is a good fungicide. Now the base fungicides like your Raxels, Charters, Dividends are very good and they control a wide variety of diseases. For me the important thing is not that you're picking one or the other, it's just that you're using one of these products because getting that disease control is very important to establishing a good crop. Well Darren talked about the base products, another fungicide that you could add in with any of those would be stamina, that's basically headline. So stamina is the seed treatment version of headline and most commonly it's mixed with charter but it could be put in with dividend or raxel, it just adds some extra disease control and if you're in an area where you've had a lot of disease problems in the past, having a combination out there like a charter and stamina combination would be fantastic on most of the diseases you'll find. The other thing that you could do is throw in some insecticide. Now it's not like the insecticides you're normally spraying over the top of your crop. Typically we're talking about either cruiser or gaucho in this situation. Adding an insecticide into the seed treatment doesn't add a whole lot of cost and it gives you some protection against insects like wireworms for example or if you're looking for a little bit of systemic activity against something like hessian fly either a gaucho or a cruiser could help out there as well. Well once again there are a lot of different seed treatment options. We just encourage you to do something for a seed treatment. Over time, sure, there are going to be some years where it might not pay, but on average I think you'll find that most of these seed treatments will double or triple your money fairly easily on average over a long period of time. Well, another great return on investment is good weed control on your farm. We'll show you how to control this weed coming up later in the show.